Yo, Kepace Guy here. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. We are about to unbox the CT Sound CT 3200.1D monoblock amplifier. I had to pick this one up for myself because it's time for a little bit of an upgrade. I have a 3000 watt amp in the car. You're probably thinking, okay, 3000 watts already. Why are you just going up 200? Should have got something a lot bigger. Well, that amp starting to cause a little bit of issues, kind of have some problems. So I thought it'd be a nice fit for an upgrade, nice time for a little upgrade. I'm a big fan of CT Sounds. I'm actually an affiliate with them and they've sent me out some products to review on previous videos and I've been impressed with what I've seen and what I've heard. And so I decided to try out one of their amps. I bought this myself. I didn't get this from them for free. I went out and purchased this with my own money, but I am an affiliate. So there will be a link down below. Hit that link. It does help the channel out. If you're looking for any CT Sounds gear, this one happens to be their I think this is a new line of monoblock amplifiers. Haven't seen too much video wise on it, but it seems to be pretty good. We're opening up the box now. Let me get the styrofoam out of the way. What do we have here? So we have uh, some review cards here. looks like you can probably join their Facebook, yep, Facebook group there. You can join their Facebook group. CT Sounds loves throwing in a couple decals for the car. I actually put these decals inside my subwoofer box because I have plexiglass. So these look pretty cool on the inside. So we'll add those inside the box, inside the enclosure. Then you have your monoblock amplifiers, you, your user manuals here. So it shows you all the power ratings and frequency responses and all that good stuff. So ours is at the very end here. Let's go through it just a little bit. So at one ohm, we're getting that 3200 watts at two ohms, it's 1600 watts, and at four ohms, it's 900 watts. Now, I've watched the video on the ratings on this. This thing performs above rating even under powered. It's really nice. So these are all at 14.4 volts, um, but I've seen it do better under powered. It's actually really cool, really, really good stuff. So it has a subsonic filter from zero to 50 hertz, a frequency response from zero to 220 hertz, a low pass filter from 50 to 220 hertz, signal to noise ratio is 95 dB. That's really impressive. What does that mean to you guys? It is super efficient with the power that it takes. So it reaches um, a clean signal very easily. 95 dB is really good for a monoblock amplifier. You don't see things getting into the 90s nowadays. I really appreciate that. You have a bass boost, 0, 6 to 12 dB, and the bass boost frequency is 45 hertz. It's not variable, so it's going to be around that 45 hertz range. The um, input impedance, 22K ohms. DC voltage, so what it operates is between 9 to 16 volts of operation safely, minimum of 1 ohm. Don't recommend running this at a half ohm impedance. So that's pretty much what this is all about, kind of telling you how to configure it, how to set it up, how to get those dials right. But here is the amp itself. What we got here? Oh, check this out. <laughs> This is from Matt at CT Sound. He's Kyle. I hope you had a great Christmas. I know you probably have a cool project this is going into and looking forward to seeing it. Let me know if we can help with anything. Matt from CT Sounds. That's pretty legit, Matt. I didn't tell Matt I was buying this. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's been the guy that I've been communicating with um, when I do some of my review videos for him, but he slipped this little note inside the box. I had no idea. That's pretty freaking legit, man. If you're watching this, thank you so much. That is freaking awesome. That just goes to show the customer service that you get at CT Sounds, which is I've been a huge fan of. All right, what's in the box? So we have some mounting screws, which we'll probably need these because I will be mounting them inside my vehicle on an amp rack. And then you have the base knob itself. Here we go. Base knob itself here with that telephone plug style cable so that it's secure, that it's not, it's not coming out. This is one of the things that failed first on my previous amp. It failed and so it caused my amp to actually go in protection. So I'm happy to have a new base knob and everything. That's pretty legit. Let me get the box out of the way and we're gonna take a look at the amplifier. All right, let's unwrap this here. Pretty solid weight to it, not too heavy. We'll take the tape off the back side. There we go. Nice. All right, let's flip it back around. Really solid amp. I like it. Has like a brush finish to it. It's solid black. It has a brush look to it. Not a lot of branding going on, just of course the CT Sounds logo and then the model that you have and then of course it's a monoblock class D amplifier. 
we're going to take a look at the connections and terminals. So this side is all your power and speaker. So you have your ground, the remote in between the ground and the 12 volt there. And it looks like it'll accept um, zero gauge. No problem, of course, being this powerful, it needs to. I'm going to be using dual inputs. And so it looks like it'll fit that just fine. So that's really nice. And then it looks like maybe eight gauge speaker wire here. So two positive, two negatives there. Not bad at all. Flipping it over to the other side, what you expect on most amplifiers nowadays, power and protect light. You have your remote input for the base knob, your right and your left, so just dual inputs for your RCAs. Then you have your base boost, which is actually set by default on 60B. We're gonna click that to zero. I don't recommend using base boost unless you wanna, you, if you wanna use base boost, like I said, it's gonna affect that 45 hertz range. That's around the kick drum, kind of heavy rock kind of area. And so you wanna have this on before you set your amp up because you wanna uh, set it up so it does not clip. You don't want any issues with clipping. So if you're gonna use base boost, make sure you have it where you want it before you calibrate your amplifier or you're gonna have problems otherwise. Here's your gain input, max and min. You can set your voltage, your low pass filter that we talked about from 50 hertz up to 220 hertz, and then your subsonic filter here from off all the way to 50 hertz. I recommend leaving this on maybe about 10 or 20 hertz just to be safe so your subwoofer isn't unloading at super low volumes or super loud volumes at low frequencies. Protect everything at all costs. The lower the bass notes, the more power that it takes typically, especially when you're below the port tuning. So a lot of easy connections here, just like you're used to. So really easy amp to set up. I'm gonna, it's dark here, it's about 8.30 at night right now, or about eight o'clock at night right now, so I can't put this in the car yet, but tomorrow we will put it in there and I'll show you what I'm replacing, we'll take a listen to it. So I'm gonna end the video here and when uh, you guys see me again, we'll be outside. All right, so here's what we're working with. Here's the CT3200.1D. This is what it's replacing, the Cadence Sound QRS 3000.1D and it's powering my Sundown Audio X15 V3. And then I have some audio control components. Since my car is a premium system, I don't have the ability to change the radio. So there's a lot of videos about that, but I'm gonna get this off of here. It's on the wood amp rack. We're gonna unscrew it. We have double inputs here. I'm gonna get those out. They should fit just fine in there. And then we'll put this on top of there. We'll be good to go. All right, we have it in. We got a blue light. Blue means go in audio world. So we're set and good to go. The amp's a little bit, it's, it's a little less long than the other one and not as deep by far than the other one. And then the terminals are flipped. So my negative is on the left and then the positive on the right. It was reversed on my previous amp. So I had to do some rearranging, but we got it back into the car. So I'm gonna go ahead, hop in the car and play a little quick music for you guys and then we'll be done. All right, I'm outside my apartment so I can't play it too loud, but I'll give you guys a quick demo, real quick demo. Let's go, let's play it. Yo, that sounds so good. There is a an obvious difference between my last amplifier and this one, and it's honestly, it may, I don't think it's placebo, so I'll, I'll keep listening throughout the rest of this week, but it has a better sound quality than the previous amplifier that I was using. Um, I haven't tuned it as far as getting the gain set correctly, so I played it safe, so not too loud, um, but I put my crossover about 60, 70 hertz. I might raise that up a little bit, um, but it sounds better. Those low notes sound a lot deeper, uh, and that's probably because the crossover on the other one was a little bit higher. It didn't go all the way down to zero hertz. It was around about 20 or so, and it cut off. This one pounds. This one pounds. So I have a little voltmeter right here. It reads 13.6 in idle. It'll get up to 14.4 if I, you know, put some gas to it, put the car in drive. But it doesn't go lower than 13.6 on idle. So I'm usually about, you know, what the amp likes to have. Um, so I'm I'm excited. So I'll listen to this the rest of the week, and if you guys want me to, I'll do a follow up video and let you guys know what I think about it. In, um, this amp cost me like three hundred forty dollars, I think. My last amp was worth eight hundred, so half the price 
and 200 more watts of power. Um, but that thing's built like a freaking tank. So we'll see uh, if it was worth it in the, at the end and see how this compares to an amp that's two times the price tag. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to Matt at CT Sound for sending me that little note. <laughs> I did not expect that. Thank you so much, man. We'll have to link up and put some more CT Sound stuff in the vehicle. I love you, your all's products. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe if you are not already. We will see you guys in the next video. Get Face Guy out. Peace.